Well, I don't think we should go to the moon. I think we maybe should send some politicians up there at times. <laughs> Are you prepared to release your medical records so voters out there know what your health is? Oh, obviously, because it, it's about one page, if even that long. But, <laughs> but I'm, willing to, I'm willing to challenge any of these gentlemen up here to a 25-mile bike ride any time of the day in the heat of Texas. I don't think they see a jihadist under the bed every night. Imagine you're in the Oval Office. You speak to Raul Castro, what would you say to him? Well, I'd ask him what he called about, you know. <laughs> Dr. Funny Bones. Ron Paul, the king of the one-liner. The Texas congressman brought some <clears throat> clarity and levity to last night's debate. We know that Dr. Ron Paul is in Maine campaigning for hard-won votes at Colby College. Uh, what is next for him in this race, Hugo? I'm hoping a bike race. I think that's a really good <laughs> idea. And I think that it'd be better than another debate. We really see what these guys have. I think Newt Gingrich a on a bike. Just yeah. putting it out there. Yeah, yeah. It'd be <laughs> some kind hurt. of funky bike. He might bike, want to challenge Newt to a sprint. <laughs> Couldn't hurt. Challenge him to a sprint. He's going to be in this race for the long haul, though, isn't he? I say God bless Ron Paul. The, the longer he can m use his uh, momentum and uh, spotlight to get his ideas out there, I say all the better. As long as the liberal media stops uh, you know, making fun of him so much. And well, by the way, he's the most principled candidate in the race in either party. Yeah, and I say That's to it. the GOP, ignore this Not man and much. laugh at this man at your peril. He has enormous amounts of power. He could be a king killer. A so. king killer. King yeah. killer. Deliverer oh, of one-liners, Patricia Murphy, <laughs> coming up.